Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome you to this very important meeting today, Tuesday, January 15th, 2019, the City of Portsmouth City Council Chambers. Madam Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Commissioners, we will now have roll call. As I call your name, please indicate your presence with a verbal response. Commissioner Williams. Present. Commissioner Thompson. Commissioner Youngblood. Present. Commissioner G. Present. Commissioner Thaxton. Present. Commissioner Ricks. Present. Five members of the Planning Commission are present. Uh, commissioners, before you are the minutes of the November 6, 2018 public hearing, if there aren't any changes, we are in need of a motion. I move for acceptance of the minutes as presented. Is there a second? Second. Commissioner Thaxton, we have a motion and a second, Madam Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion and a second, and you will be voting a verbal response to approve the minutes from the November the 18th public hearing. As I call your name, please reply with a verbal response. Commissioner Williams? Yes. Commissioner Youngblood? Yes. Commissioner G? Yes. Commissioner Thaxton? Yes. Commissioner Ricks? Yes. The minutes are approved by vote of five to zero. <clears throat> Announcements of future meetings and conferences. Please note that our next scheduled work session is Tuesday, February the 5th, 2019 at 12.30 p.m., sixth floor conference room, followed by public hearing at 1.30 p.m., city council chamber. Items reviewed today will be presented to City Council for action at their January 22nd and February the 12th, 2019 public hearing or as otherwise noted. Planning Commission rules limit a speaker up to five minutes to speak. We also ask that everyone please silence your cell phones at this time if you have not already done so. Thank you. Our first public hearing item, UP-819-01 downtown. Andrew Bender requests a use permit for an apartment on the first floor at 720 and 722 County Street in the downtown T5 zoning district. The property is further described as tax map 25, parcel 26. The comprehensive plan recommends downtown mixed use development. Our staff coordinator is Stacy Porter and the applicant or representative is at the podium. You may present your case. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for, uh, for allowing me to be heard today. I'm Andrew Bander. I've been a business owner in Portsmouth since 1997, and I've owned property since 2003 in Portsmouth. The uh, property in question, as she stated, is that is a two-story block building built in 1947. It's on the corner of Effingham and County Street. Uh, some of you probably will pass it on the way home today. Uh, upstairs, it's got two apartments in it. That's uh, the door on the right-hand side is an area, a common area, at least a set of stairs goes upstairs. Two apartments has been that way, I believe, since 1947 when it was, was built. Downstairs has been commercial, and it has, since I've owned it, been a uh, retail computer store and a pawn store more recently. So I, uh, I started at High Street, on 613 High Street, hometown computers, back in 1997. We stayed there for a while, then bought this property, moved over there in 2005-ish. And I have experience both on High Street and off of High Street. So what I learned from that was that as we moved off of High Street, retail sales became much more difficult, as well as I think in the most recent years with the internet, retail sales in general out of a small mom and pop shop has become more difficult. But we've had very good experiences with the apartments upstairs, had great relationships with our tenants. They're beautiful apartments. We have put a lot of effort into them. And I think we have uh, people that have enjoyed living there. And it's been such a good experience. I like to carry that to the downstairs and make a comfortable, nice living space downstairs. Um, and I want to do a single apartment. I think the zoning might be more easy to avoid a use permit to put three apartments down there. I'd rather just do a single apartment and make it more comfortable. To explain why one apartment is better than three apartments, to, uh, you have to understand that property. It's, uh, it's about 23 feet across the front of the building, but 75 foot deep. It's made it difficult for signage from the beginning. And 
the common area for the door on the right hand side plus a new common area to create a third apartment to get the middle of the building would probably reduce the size of the new apartments to downward of 450 to 550 square feet. That's not, that's an efficiency and that's not, uh, I don't think that's a comfortable living space. So we wanna do one apartment on the downstairs area. And another reason for uh, an apartment downstairs is in the recent years, as you've, I'm sure you're aware, the number of rest fantastic restaurants downtown Portsmouth and the, uh, the bars that have come down, it's, it, it has made living downtown Portsmouth area an even better place to stay. So in conclusion, 722 County Street, the downstairs commercial area is becoming and has become a difficult commercial area, commercial unit, because of the location and the number uh, and online sales. And I think it would make a fantastic living space. Do you have any questions for me? Commissioners, are there any questions? Yeah. Commissioner Youngblood. You know what? G. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to recuse myself from, from this matter. Uh, Mr. Bander and I have a uh, landlord tenant relationship at another property, and I, I think it'd be best to. Uh, to recuse myself to avoid even an appearance of a conflict of interest. Recusal noted. Commissioner G. Um, as you're doing the changes to uh, to bring in the new common area for the downstairs or the new entrance for the downstairs apartment, will you be sticking with the stucco front or will there be other, uh, that is stucco on brick right now, will you be sticking with that or what's the intentions for the, uh, for the frontage? I, I don't believe that, we, now we don't have plans, but my intentions are to possibly remove that hurricane door because it doesn't look inviting for, for it, it was good for commercial use, but for somebody to live in, I, I'm not positive it's a good idea. So we're gonna probably not do any exterior modifications to the building. So what, when that door is rolled up, I, I should have brought a picture, but there's, a, there's another entrance to the left and a, and a large single window in the middle of the building. That, that you would see there. So we'll probably just put blinds in that and, and maintain the front door. Uh, it's possible, since it's an all glass door for, for commercial use, we might turn it into a, a solid door, a steel door for the front. But, but that's still to be approved through the, uh, the Downtown Design Committee and through uh, the building code. Thank you for that clarification. That, that door was what confused me, I think, slightly on that, forgetting what was behind it. I was thinking that more that that was more or less the entrance that way. But oh, yes. now that you bring that up, I do recall oh, yes, in the past yes, how the other entrance actually looks. Okay. Commissioners, any additional questions? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Madam Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a public hearing on item UP-19-01. If there's anyone here who did not get an opportunity to register and would like to address this application, you may come forward at this time, state your name and your address for the record, and you will be given up to five minutes to speak. Appearing to be none, Mr. Chairman, members of the Planning Commission, this public hearing is now closed. I need a motion. Commissioner Thaxton. I'd like to make a motion to approve UP-19-01 with the proposed conditions. Commissioner G. Second. Madam Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion and a second to approve UP-19-01. As I call your name, please indicate your preference with a verbal response. Commissioner Williams? Yes. Commissioner Youngblood? Refused. Commissioner G? Yes. Commissioner Thaxton? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Ricks? Yes. Four members of the Planning Commission, this item is approved by a vote of four to one. Four, four. four and one abstention. Right. <clears throat> okay. 
Madam Secretary, I believe at this time we need to have an election of officers. Yes, sir. We need a motion to nominate a chairman of the Planning Commission for the 2019 year and the vice chair. I need a motion for the chairman. Um, Commissioner Youngblood. Commissioner Youngblood. Oh. I'd like to nominate uh, Mr. Williams for chairman and Ms. Thompson for vice chair for the 2019 year. Commissioner G. Second. Okay, we're going to do this uh, separately, Chairman first and then uh, Vice Chair. Okay. You okay. 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 We have a motion and a second to uh, nominate Mr. Albert Williams for the Chairman of the Planning Commission. You will be voting electronically. Uh, no, you will be voting with a verbal response when I call your name. Mr. Williams? Yes. Okay. Commissioner Youngblood? Yes. Commissioner G? Yes. Commissioner Thaxton? Yes. And Commissioner Ricks? Yes. Okay. Mr. Uh, Commissioner Williams is the chairman for the 2019 of the Planning Commission. Our next item is for the Vice Chair of the Planning Commission for the 2019 year. And uh, the recommendation is, uh, nomination is for Commissioner Amy Thompson. As I call your name, would you please respond with a verbal response? Commissioner Williams? Yes. Commissioner Youngblood? Yes. Commissioner G? Yes. Commissioner Thaxton? Yes. Commissioner Ricks? Yes. Amy Thompson is now the Vice Chair of the Planning Commission for the 2019 year. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Thank Commission, you. is the Chair is now in need of a motion to approve the 2019 planning calendar that was included in your packet? Commissioner, Commissioner Thaxton? I'd like to make a motion to approve the calendar for 2019. Is there a second? Second. Commissioner Ricks has seconded. Uh, Madam Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion and a second. As I call your name, please respond with a verbal response. Commissioner Williams. Yes. Commissioner Youngblood. Yes. Commissioner G. Yes. Commissioner Thaxton. Yes. Commissioner Ricks. Yes. The 2019 planning calendar has been approved. Madam Secretary, I believe that concludes our agenda for today. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, commissioners, will there be any further business? There being none, Mr. Baldwin, is there anything further that we um, need no, to? No, sir, other than to congratulate you on uh, once again being elected chair of the Planning Commission. We have no additional items. If I could just keep people's names straight, I'll be all right. <laughs> Hearing none, this meeting is now adjourned. <laughs>